I know within five seconds of looking at the safety data sheet of a fragrance oil, if it's an oil I want to use or not. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do the same. And it's not just about phthalate free and prop 65 warnings, which is usually really quickly identifiable on the product listing itself for the fragrance oil. Today, I'm really going to teach you how to dig deeper into the safety data sheet to try to find the cleanest fragrance oils possible. Also, quick note about the term clean fragrance. This is not regulated. This is more about marketing from both the candle suppliers and candle companies. Also, most fragrance oils out there don't list every single ingredient on the safety data sheet due to trade secrets. However, I do believe that we have the power to make the most informed decisions that we can to choose the least toxic fragrance oils when possible. With all that being said, what I'm going to do is make it really easy for you to know what you should be looking for when you're looking at the safety data sheet of a specific fragrance oil, whether that's an oil that you're currently using or one that you want to use. Also, what I've done is I've taken everything that I've organized in today's video and I've created a one page PDF for you to download and reference at any time. So I will leave the link right here and also the link in the pinned comment so you can download that and reference it whenever you're reviewing a safety data sheet. The easiest and fastest way to determine a fragrance oil's level of hazard or toxicity is by looking at which pictograms is indicated on the SDS of that fragrance oil. A pictogram is just a little picture that indicates a fragrance oil's level of hazard. So things like irritation, flammability, or toxicity. So when you're taking a look at a safety data sheet, section two is where you're gonna find these pictograms. It should be really high up. You should see it right away the second you download the SDS. And under section two, you're also going to see hazard codes. So these start with the letter H followed by numbers. And each of these hazard codes determine which pictograms should be indicated on the SDS. And honestly, all of these symbols and hazard codes can be really overwhelming and confusing if you don't know what you're looking for. So that's why I'm breaking everything down really simply. And I've actually organized all of the hazard codes into levels. And make sure you keep watching because you're probably gonna wanna avoid fragrances that have hazard codes in levels five and six. When it comes to pictograms, there are many out there, but when it comes to candle fragrances, I've narrowed it down to five, actually six, but I'll talk about the sixth one at the end of this video. But here they are right here, just so you can see the symbols before we get into everything. Level one is actually when there's no pictogram for the hazard code. So there may be a hazard code present, but no pictogram associated with it. Hazard codes such as H303, which is maybe harmful if swallowed, H313 may be harmful in contact with skin, H333 may be harmful if inhaled, and H227 combustible liquid. So these hazard codes are more about handling the fragrance oil responsibly than it is about any danger or toxicity. In fact, I think pretty much all fragrances are going to have these hazard codes on them. Level two shows the first pictogram, and this is of the exclamation mark. So the most common hazard codes in fragrance oils that would show this pictogram would be hazard codes H315 or H316, which causes mild skin irritation. H317, which may cause an allergic reaction to the skin, and H319 or H320, which causes serious eye irritation. So this pictogram indicates that this fragrance oil may cause irritation or sensitization, not toxicity. In level three, the pictogram is for environmental hazard. So this has to do with toxicity or harmful effects to aquatic life. So if you see this pictogram right here, that means that the fragrance oil can pose a hazard to aquatic life. And the codes may be H400, which is very toxic to aquatic life, H401, which is toxic to aquatic life, H410, which is very toxic to aquatic life with long lasting effects. H411 is toxic to aquatic life with long lasting effects. H412 is harmful to aquatic life with long lasting effects. And H413 is may cause long-term effects in the aquatic environment. 
So if you see this pictogram on a fragrance oil, it just means that it will be hazardous to aquatic life in its raw, undiluted form. So absolutely do not pour fragrance oil down the drain. Level four indicates the corrosion pictograph and the hazard codes that you will most likely see on fragrance oils that would showcase this pictograph on it would be hazard codes H314, which causes severe skin burns and eye damage, and H318, which causes serious eye damage. So if you see this pictogram on a safety data sheet, this indicates corrosive or severely irritating ingredients when the fragrance oil is highly concentrated. So when it's in its undiluted form, that is what we are looking at with these fragrance oils. Not necessarily when it's in a candle, but when it's in its undiluted form. But since we are makers, if we look at a fragrance oil and we're working with a fragrance oil with this pictogram and with these health hazard codes, you wanna make sure that you're protecting yourself, protect your skin, so wear gloves, and also have eye protection. Level five is a health hazard silhouette pictogram. If your fragrance oil contains this pictogram, it probably means that it contains one of these health hazard codes. Health hazard codes such as H340 or H341, which may cause genetic defects, H350 or H351, which may cause or be suspected of causing cancer, H301 or H361, which may damage fertility or the unborn child, and H372 or H373, which causes organ damage through prolonged exposure. So if your fragrance oil has this pictogram, it represents serious long-term chronic health effects, not just short-term irritation. So some of the other pictograms on the lower levels are more about irritation than it is about long-term health effects. So when we're looking at this one, this has a lot to do with organ toxicity, reproductive toxicity, possible carcinogens, so things that we don't want in our fragrance oils. I feel like there is a little bit of nuance to this. I feel like when it comes to labeling laws and all this, there can be a lot of black and white, even if there is some a little bit of a discrepancy in some of the ingredients. So what I recommend is if you find a fragrance that has this pictogram and you wanna dig deeper into what exactly is the ingredient that's causing this, you can dive deeper into that and take a look at the ingredients list if they provide you with an ingredient list, because remember, some of the trade secrets will prevent candle suppliers and fragrance oil manufacturers from releasing the actual full ingredient list of that fragrance oil. But regardless, if you're interested in that, you can dig deeper into that. Me personally, I actually was somebody from the very beginning that was very much into just kind of making sure that all of my fragrance oils were phthalate free and then pass the Prop 65 test. And those were the standards that I actually thought in the beginning were the best that I was able to do. And now that I have done a lot more research into understanding safety data sheets, I realize that I want to avoid all fragrances that have this pictograph. Basically the least amount of pictographs on a fragrance oil safety data sheet, the better in my personal opinion. And then the level six pictogram is the skull and crossbones. Now, this is actually something I don't believe we will ever see on fragrances, but never say never. I just wanted to add this on here just so you know which health hazard codes would cause this pictograph to show up in the safety data sheet. So health hazard codes such as H 300 or H301 is fatal or toxic if swallowed. H310 or H311 is fatal or toxic in contact with skin. And H330 or H331 is fatal or toxic if inhaled. So this signals more of a true poisoning and is probably the highest level of toxicity possible. But again, I wanted to throw this in here. It's not something that I've personally seen on a fragrance oil safety data sheet, but you never know, so I just wanted you to be informed. And the last pictogram that I wanna share with you today has to do with the flammability hazard. So it's the fire pictogram and the health hazard codes that would make this pictogram show up on a safety data sheet would be health hazard codes H224, H225, and H226. 
Now, all of this has to do with the flash point of the fragrance oil. So H227 is also listed on here, but it's actually exempt from this pictogram because the flash point is over 100, 140 degrees, which means that the heat would be have to be much higher in order for the fragrance oil to combust. So if you remember from the very beginning on level one, when we talked about the codes on there, the last code was actually the H227, which indicated a combustible liquid. So most fragrances nowadays, I feel like are above a flash point of 140 degrees. So most fragrances will not have this fire pictogram. However, I did just wanna quickly show you an example where I did find a safety data sheet where it did show the flammability hazard symbol, but it was actually a mistake. So on, it was on Midwest Fragrance Oil Company, which by the way, I'm not calling them out. I love Midwest. It was just a simple mistake. So on the safety data sheet, you can see on here that there is the GS, GSH hazard symbol of this right here. However, so it's listed as H224, extremely flammable liquid and vapor, which would mean that the flash point of this fragrance oil would be under 73 degrees Fahrenheit, which I found that very hard to believe. So what I did is I went down to section nine, and you can always check this, check section nine if you ever see this flammability symbol because it may be a mistake. So on this section right here, section nine, under flash point, it says the flash point is above 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So that just means that there was an issue when it came to the template, kind of copy and pasting, whatever the safety data sheets were, um, a mistake put on there. So um, it's really good idea to, yes, look at the pictograms, but also look at the hazard code. See if there's anything that doesn't match up. Um, maybe there is a health hazard code that needs a pictogram, but it's really just taking a few seconds, just taking a look at exactly what the pictograms represent and what the health hazard codes say. But I would say most of the time, everything is going to be correct on there, but you just wanna take a moment to double check. So I really hope that you're now feeling much more confident in your ability to make informed decisions when you're choosing the best quality fragrance oils for your candle company. And with that, I'm gonna to end today's video right here and I will see you in the next one.